Good day, welcome to the Gulf News Update for Tuesday, October the 7th. Here are the top stories at this hour. A British man has admitted assaulting three Emirati sisters with a hammer during an attack at an upscale London hotel, but denies trying to kill them. Philip Spence has admitted three counts of grievous bodily harm in a plea entered last week. He's due to go on trial this week for attempted murder, which he denies. A nurse in Spain has come down with the Ebola virus, the first time someone has caught the disease outside West Africa during the current epidemic. The development came as another American sick with the disease arrived back in the US for treatment. President Barack Obama said the government was considering ordering more careful screening of airline passengers traveling from the outbreak region. Daesh fighters advanced into the Syrian Kurdish town of Kobani near Turkey's border and engaged in street battles with Kurdish fighters. They took several buildings to gain attacking positions from two sides of the city. Two Daesh flags were still visible over the eastern side of the city. More than 2,000 Syrian Kurds, including women and children, were evacuated from the town, a member of the Kurdish Democratic Union Party said. Michael Phelps, the 18-time Olympic swim champion arrested last week for drink driving, has been banned for six months by USA Swimming and dropped from the 2015 World Championships. Last night's punishments came six days after Phelps was arrested by police in his hometown of Baltimore. After more than a year of shielding his son from prying eyes and cameras, Shah Rukh Khan has finally revealed a picture of Abram. The Bollywood star shared the image on Twitter and wished his fans on Eid and was seen holding his 16-month-old son on his lap and giving him a doting kiss. Twin Peaks, the Golden Globe winning cult 1990s television series from David Lynch, is making a comeback. Showtime announced in a statement that the series will return as a limited one in 2016. And finally, the weather. Today's high across the UAE will be 35 degrees Celsius, dropping to 29 tonight. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can get the latest news on gulfnews.com.